there is no add-ons restart menu in this pixel experience home hence i am manually turning off the device as you can see this is the poco x3 indian variant 6 gb 128 gb version i have okay it's turned off use the volume up button i mean plus button and power button press them continuously on this poco logo up here you can remove the button on fingerprint i mean the power button you can leave this also one more haptic feedback welcome as you can see this is the latest twrp available for poco x3 it's booted now go to wipe and select advanced wipe and select dialog catch and data swipe here to wipe it go to home and select install and select the storage wherever you downloaded the files and very soon we'll be getting 12.5.5 firmware i will be updated i will be get update in community tab check oh god check that out in community always have a look on community also i mean youtube community i'll be posting such kind of information and i'll provide a link also and now flash the firmware of 12.5.4 surya global very soon 12.5.5 will be coming and come to home again and select install and regarding cherries os many people were requesting me to make that cherries os it's a little bit very slow in downloading i don't know 3.4.5 and also the commodore os the file is missing soon if i get i will make it out meanwhile there is a this darfest os has been received as you can see 2022-224 latest build hence i am doing this review now on this as you can see dark fest with february 24th latest build with february security patch it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed the rom zip file is also flashed successfully go to home and select here wipe again and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done go to reboot and select system this is the flashing method for Derp fest Xion latest February 24th build. In this video, I am going to explain about benchmark results, BGMA gameplay, bugs, features, everything will be explained. Stay tuned till the end of the video and if you like the video, give it a like and if you still not subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button also. Many people are watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel. Have a look on my channel subscribe button make it black there is down below red color button make it black and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and as you can see this is a new the first logo let's begin this video <laughs> hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys this is sampathy watching sampathy on fx youtube channel and this is the dark fest voice on poco x3 nfc or surya kana whatever you call with android version 12 and version 12 official shian surya 2022 second february i mean february 24th this is the latest update and with Fe february 5th security patch and the kernel user is 4.14.267 shilon t main kernel has been used and selling status is enforcing and have been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes you can read here the maximum is 147 and average is 142 and minimum is 131 and cpu is throttled to 95 percent of its maximum performance at this how the quick settings panel you get and this all the power options and if you want to edit you can edit from here as you can see plenty of options are given let's see whether screen recording feature what all the options you get there are plenty of options you can check out here and you can simultaneously record device audio on microphone and bigger file size limit you can limit from here lower quality show stop dot and show to the sunscreen this are the screen recording options in this and increase the volume a little bit okay this are the volume panel and everything you get and you get direct video call feature it's available in this rom and there is a call recording feature but other person will notify that you are recording the call that's how it is and as you can see it's smooth enough never effaced any problems and coming into settings as you can see this is also smooth enough and 
into the apps you get default apps you can choose here whichever app you need to change from here game space it's there disable heads up in game ringer mode you can keep to vibrate normal or silent block full screen event disable auto brightness disable swipe to screenshot stay awake print of options are given you can add here from there i am adding bgm gameplay okay it's added okay it's added like this game space and special app access is also given print of options you can check out from here coming into notifications you get bubbles features working fine notification log also you can check here do not disturb is there allow notifications snoozing notification dot app i can blink light enhanced notifications and hide silent notification in status bar those things are included and coming to battery settings why it's not getting recorded i don't know in android 11 and some of the mirror ROMs it's get recorded i can show you how is the battery life but in my words i will tell you it's pretty good idle battery drainers also very less and i have been setting everything like installing games etc all the apps and running benchmark result it was around 66 percent while i was in pixel experience you can watch from the beginning it's now 52 it's really good battery life from this rom and use pixel battery status provider you can enable or disable from your optimization profiles battery temperature you can see into the battery server you get extreme battery server plenty of options are given here battery life is also good and into sound settings you get all the options even the direct sound settings like me sound enhancer is also given you can choose the headphone type and preset and some of the options you can enable or disable from here even screenshot sound is included in this option into the display settings you get brightness slider here adaptive brightness is given extra dim feature is given live display is given lock screen settings has been given here as you can see print of options you can enable or disable from here into the dark theme this i keep on telling this they don't add the presets it's great type enough not completely dark that i really don't like that's how it is and font size you can adjust from here display size also you can adjust night light feature is given intensity you can reduce or increase and dark theme and night light both you can schedule it out and into the colors feature you get this kind of settings and minimum refresh rate kept to 60 maximum is 120 you can change to your preference tap to wake is there print accidental wake up on plug and full screen apps you can force app to full screen from here yeah, that's also cool feature and lcd features are also included in this rom wallpapers and styles coming to change wallpaper there are plenty of dark faced wallpapers but under tall wallpapers are missing in this rom themed icons is still beta dark theme is given app grid you can choose from 2 into 2 to up to 6 into 6 system icon packs you can choose plenty of options are given now going into customization here you get dark space I explained in the previous video also let look lightly like battery style you can adjust from here battery percentage and left battery text battery bar location if you make it there are plenty of options will be enabled coming into carrier level you get carrier level location and custom carrier level option is given as you can see you can manually keep it and clock and date settings you get show clock date and plenty of options you can select from here status bar items you get print of options you can disable or enable from here traffic indicators included miscellaneous settings you get the first logo colored icons bluetooth battery status print of options into this quick settings panel you will get status bar those things are included here the first logo colored icons like that print of options are given like brightness control location privacy indicator mic and camera privacy indicator you can enable or disable from here then you can see certain apps when you are using that apps has this mic access and camera access even location access it will be displayed you can disable from here that's how the settings in miscellaneous if you slide like this you get notification settings here also annoying notification notification count ambience edge lighting heads up flash blink light sorry blink flashlight for incoming call you can enable or choose some of the options and vibrate on connect call waiting disconnect you can enable or disable from here into the quick settings you get quick settings pull down is given battery estimation is given required unlocking to use sensitive tiles are given adaptive brightness button show brightness letter on bottom print are given in the customization as you can see animations also 
you can keep from here and vibrate on touch and QS panel is also given. If slide like this you get lock screen shortcuts, you get here hide bottom shortcuts and lock screen shortcuts you can enable or disable from here. Lock screen UI also you can adjust here, you can disable the rippling effect that's really cool and fingerprint success vibration and error vibration you can disable or enable from here and always show some small clock and lock screen charging information screen of animation show media art and media art blur level you can adjust from here into the lock screen in UI I explained it and ambient always on display is also given battery level and button battery level when charging ambient wake gestures and music ticker these options are included in this ROM and coming to customization monet engine you can adjust from here you can use black theme that's really good I was worrying about this only whenever you keep it dark mode use this use black theme if you want to be pure black condition and accurate shades are given you can adjust the colorfulness from here monet engine is given headland body front plenty of options are given like as you can see some 10 to 20 fonts are available you can manually customize them icon packs are also you can customize and wi-fi icon signal icons and icon shape also you can change from here that comes in customization and pulse navigation pulse settings pulse locks in pulse ambient pulse plenty of options you can customize from pulse settings also and coming to navigation bar here on screen navigation bar is given in general settings you get unlimited google photo storage you can enable this and then only you'll get unlimited storage i checked it it's working fine toast app icon is given charging animation alert slider and notification and enable this shift navigation bar and status bar icon to prevent burn in and universal interval of shift is also given this is all the dark space plenty of customization i hope i explained each and everything in detail and if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button also and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you coming into some of the settings here into accessibility settings that's missing here and the previous build was also missing if they add it it could be better and coming to security features they are following pixel experience just yesterday pixel experience got the face unlock option here also it's added now you will get face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me show you the face unlock first as you can see it's very very fast and convenient to use also that's i really like and coming to fingerprint scanner as you can see it's also working fine there is no sounds actually even while face unlock and this lock but anyhow this is how it is in this rom and coming to safety net status you get by default it get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay whatsapp all the apps are day-to-day -day apps are working fine no problem regarding that and there is no problem in earphones uh, sorry earpiece while taking calls and earphone quality is also fine and loudspeakers are also fine enough not louder but definitely it's fine and you'll get google go camera as a pre-installed camera application but i installed this Arno build gcam if want you can use any gcam ports based upon your priority anx camera is still not working in android 12 rom soon it will be fixed then i can make video on that also stay tuned to my channel for similar kind of videos and coming to drm info you can check out here level 1 certification such that you can watch all the ott applications in hd resolution no problem regarding that also and without wasting the time let's see the bjmi gameplay in this rom and let's see whether i can enable the fps info from here okay enabled but you need to manually see here it's not displayed over here and that's the one thing so i can't show you the real fps count let me try actually and coming into graphics settings you get smooth plus ultra and hd and i there is no smooth plus extreme option but if you want you can enable it out those you can see in gaming channels they cover that those things you can check out in some other channels gaming channels they made really well how to get 60 fps in smartphones like poco xc or particular smartphone you can watch there gameplay is fine with ultra but definitely in extreme it would be even better 90 fps is also better but 
the smartphone gets warm if you play continuously more than an hour and let's see fs info where it is displayed i don't know that's how it is and you can take screenshot and record the video and it's loud enough as you can see okay i'll come back this how the rom performance and coming to geekpen scores in this rom you get very good scores in this rom dub fashion as you can see single score is 565 and multi score is 1664 and linux 4.14.267 ceylon t kernel has been used with android 12 build this is a 24th february latest build available for poco x3 it's really working fine and coming to enter the benchmark results it's also very good 3 lakh 60 thousand as you can see and temperature raise is just 0.9 degree celsius and 2 percent battery drop has been noticed during this testing and let's see whether the cp throttling test is available now it's booted out of the memory ram management is also decent let's check the charging animation how it is as you can see it displays big number here of charging anime i mean percentage of the battery let me show you once again as you can see the wobbling effect is still available and you can enable or disable that's really cool thing to have and let me show you some of the options here there are plenty of options in this round it's already become lengthy the video but still i want to show you this gestures and keys here into system navigation go to gesture navigation plenty of options and i really like the options to increase the pill length and pill radiance and there are advanced gesture options also you can select from here these are the customization available in this rom really good rom with maximum benefits like great performance great battery life and charging speeds are also normal and camera is also working fine and coming to speed test in this rom i have 100 mbps plan here it's pulling up to 92 95 which is really good in my opinion this how the Durfish rom it's an absolute better rom than pixel experience but definitely the differentiating factor is the customization if you don't want customization then you can go to pixel experience if you want customization then come to this Durfish Xeon rom this how guys and share your experience regarding roms it might be differ from one person to other person but average will be the same this how the first latest version for this poco x and if you like the video give it a like and don't forget to sh share this kind of videos to your friends who are willing to see this kind of videos and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now